Robin Williams, never, besides maybe Christopher Walken in Pulp Fiction, but never besides that has someone done more with less screen time than what Harlan Williams did <laughs> in There's Something About Mary. <laughs> Thanks, man. Is it true that you were uncredited in that movie? Yeah, and that was a that was the dumbest thing ever, man. Uh, you know, that was that was my fault. I was like, I was when I did something about Mary, I was kind of in the middle of. You know, every actor goes through a, a couple of years where they have tons of heat on them. You yeah, know? yeah. And I'm the next it guy. You're the next it yeah, guy. Yeah, I was. I was like, they were saying, oh, he's the next Jim Carrey, all this stuff, and, and you know, you can't help but get excited about that. And, and then the Fairleys, you know, I had all these, like, feature films being offered to me, and, and I had, like, three on the, on the table and all this stuff. And the Fairleys said, we want you to do this part in something about Mary. And I'm like, great, but it was only, like, you know, six pages. Right. And so I was like, well, I'm going to be this big guy, and, you know, I can't be seen doing small little parts, you know. I didn't know. No one had, I'm a kid from the suburbs of Canada, so I said, all right, I'd do it, but don't put my name on the movie. Oh. What a dumbass. I know. And so um, I'm, I'm uncredited because I said it, and I'm an idiot, and it's just one of those dumb things you do in life. It's a, it's a great story, though. It's kind of fun, though, because it's kind of made me like kind of this mystery guy. People want to know who it is, but or how, or how that happened, how you didn't get credited. Yeah, and I just yeah. hope I didn't piss off the, the Fairley brothers, because I, I didn't even think that I might have insulted <laughs> them. And it's, it's one of the best comedies that have come out in the last 20 years. It, yep. It's it's just a Last great question. movie, and so it was a dumb thing for me to do, but there's the story. You'll always live on in the film. You'll so, always live on. Sometimes I'm a dummy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Jessica, we're going to finish up with you. You got a second question? Uh, yeah, I wanted to know, honestly, what would you think if you were having sex with me and then you noticed that I had one fake boob? Would we think, I think most guys would think, that's curious, and then that thought would then leave their mind, Yeah. and they would think nothing more about it, maybe would occur to them like during breakfast the next day. Well, she said, she admitted earlier that you told us, Jessica, that you are super hot, and you could have any guy you want, so I think guys, I hate to sound like, I don't want to say guys are pigs, but if you've got like 90% of everything else going on, I think a guy would overlook it, and in, in today's world, where there's porn on the internet and all that crap, some guys might even like it. Yeah, you know, there's might absolutely be like, no doubt that it would be a non-issue. I would be half disgusted. Only half. Oh. Thank you, guys. No, only half. Hey, Jessica, the GM, yeah, Harlan's exactly right. It's not that guys are pigs. We're just simple. And yeah, as long lame. as you've got, you got simple everything lame. that we need, which is which you clearly they don't do. care where it came from. It doesn't matter what everything else it's is. It's like, like a curiosity. I mean, if it was hairy and stuff, and no, if, it down, if the aesthetics were off, then the yeah. guy would be like, yeah. Yeah. If the if the sex right, they're like, huh, interesting. Anyway, it's gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They would, they would not waste time with and that. And just don't talk while he's trying to watch a ball game. Everything's gonna be fine. Ah. You guys would be just fine with this, Jessica. I, I'm shocked that you haven't gotten that opinion from more guys. Okay, since this has been such a crazy experience for me, I'm sitting here with a bottle right now. Can I say one thing that's totally gonna blow my cover? Sure. Okay. Sarah. Okay. So I'm an artist. <laughs> Olivia. Olivia. My face, me, and I will do your portrait. Sorry, guys, didn't mean to do that, but uh, I just thought of it, and I need money, so yeah. I'll do your portrait. <laughs> I'll do your one boot portrait. All right. Wow. We got a question. Uh, I, I think I found that confusing. I, she was like, t she was using your show to get a message to her friend. That's she why. Wanted, well, she wanted to touch You know what's interesting? One final note on her, where she could maybe use this to her advantage. You know, she could. There, there could be a guy who like turn this way and he has like the schoolgirl fantasy and then he's like okay now turn the other way and he has the cougar fantasy oh, you know what yeah. i mean so yeah, yeah. she she could maybe use her breast to create a multiple world of breast size fantasies that is a very interesting take on you know the bar use video. it yeah you use it take let's get rudy in here because he got a call rudy rudy here it comes hey what's up hey rudy what's up dr drew meet harlan williams hey what's